What is up YouTube? High Tech Lab here. Out here on the ranch changing the oil on the generator. As you can see, due at 95.87. We're at 95.98, so a few hours passed, but that's okay. What I want to show you guys today is um, a feature I added to this generator, and that's right here. So normally these generators just have the oil drain plug in the side of the frame. However, an issue uh, I encountered was it, it, it doesn't have very much space right here to get a drain pan. And what typically happens is the oil leaks all over the uh, frame and makes a mess. So what I went ahead and did was I drilled out the drain plug and tapped it with a half inch NPT pipe uh, tap. Got a few fittings and um, as you can see went down to a half inch copper pipe coupler and i did that because i have this tank right here uh, it's a suction tank you hook on the compressed air here on the side and it pulls a vacuum in this tank and it has this valve right here as you can see with some o-rings if it'll focus focus and this actually fits perfectly in the bottom of this uh, copper pipe. As you can see, the O-rings kind of squirted a little bit of oil off as they sealed, but it sealed in perfectly. So uh, then all you have to do is open this ball valve here and this ball valve here, and the oil will drain. And the cool part is if, if you don't have this tank, let's say you have this generator because this is a trailer generator. Let's say you do have this out in the field. It still is a easy situation because now you're clear uh, of, of any obstructions and you can just have an oil pan in this place right here and just open up the ball valve uh, to drain the oil. The only drawback to this setup is it's a little less secure. Anybody kind of walking by if this were in a public area could open the ball valve and and cause a mess or a uh, a bad situation draining the oil out of the generator but in our case we're out here on the ranch and uh there's nobody around to to mess with ball valves for a good way so definitely a time saving uh technique next thing to figure out is filling this thing this thing takes forever uh, with this 1540 weight oil, um, as you can see, it, it, it takes a long time for this funnel to drain, and it takes uh, 7.4 quarts, so I'm, I'm still on the first 4 quarts trying to fill this thing in uh, with oil. And then another trick on changing the oil on this generator is I get a uh, plastic Ziploc bag and just set it down here, so when I unscrew the oil filter, any oil will go into that Ziploc bag, and then I can just drop the oil filter straight into that Ziploc bag and seal it up, and then I don't have to worry about any mess, and I can take that to the recycling center, and they'll um, they'll take care of it appropriately. So it's a, another trick is using a Ziploc bag in this tight compartment so I don't spill oil all over all these other um, components. So just a few updates, that's all. Uh, thank you guys for watching, High Tech Lab. Um, be sure to leave the thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get notifications when I have new uploads. Thanks and bye bye.